3 o'clock on a uh, Monday that's seen cloudy skies. Rain for some, but some of us haven't seen anything yet. This is a scattered shower pattern coming up from the south. Here's my new seven-day for the week. Uh, there's a little system that comes in tonight, Monday overnight. Models show maybe we get a quarter of an inch of rain. So overnight tonight, the rain picks up. By the time you wake up in the morning on Tuesday and then continuing Wednesday, it is a scattered uh, rain shower pattern. There's actually another front that comes through Tuesday overnight. So Tuesday night, the rain will pick back up. Maybe that's a quarter of an inch. But the daytime hours of the next two days, really not that wet. And then Thursday, I'm not sure if the morning hour is dry or not, but certainly increasing afternoon rain. And here's the washout day of the week, Friday. There's a jet stream coming in. The front is in the evening. This looks to be big, fat moisture right now. Steady rain much of the day. Forecast models are printing out about 85, 100 of an inch. So that's a really wet day. That's a washout. Then behind that front, scattered showers on Saturday. Sun breaks. Tough to tell if this is a wet day or, or really just mainly dry. And then Sunday, I'm not sure if we have a shower or not. So there's the potential that the weekend looks pretty good. Right now, Monday to start next week does look totally dry. No super warm days there as we are now in spring, but also no what I would call cold days. The temperature is expected to remain above freezing. We did hit 32 degrees um, Saturday. I think it was Saturday morning out at the uh, airport. Uh, the temperature Sunday, I think, was a little bit warmer than that. All right, have a great day. By the way, the average final freeze, if you're wondering, is March 31 for much of the valley in the downtown area of Portland, I should say. Outlying areas, the average freeze, which is a lot of us, is not until around May 1st. Have a good week, and I'll talk to you soon.